Welcome to Top 10 Archive. We're all familiar with some of the great extinct animals out there, such as mighty dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus rex. But what about nature's more unusual long-gone creatures? For this installment, we're turning back the clocks a bit to explore a lost world of the most unusual animals that have faced extinction and lost. Number 10. Moa. At one time, New Zealand's oversized species of bird had only one natural predator, the host's eagle. Enter the presence of man, the Maori people, and suddenly the moa were dropping like flies, falling victim to hunting and deforestation. This wingless, flightless bird was wiped clean from the planet by 1440 AD. Its oddly shaped, yet still slightly majestic form eradicated entirely with help from the Maori. Moa grew to a height of nearly 3.6 meters or 12 feet in height and could weigh up to 230 kilograms or 510 pounds. Hey, if you're at all disappointed to have not seen this massive bird in the flesh, then you're in luck as the Moa has been looked at as a potential cloning candidate. Number 9. Longus Guama There's still some figuring out left to do over this tiny reptile, such as what purpose the appendages that sprouted from its back were used for. Initially, it was believed that there were two rows of these appendages that allowed the tiny lizard to glide. But further studies point to just one row that stands straight up from the back. So, if not for gliding, what purpose could these extensions serve? Protection against predators is a popular theory, though it's still up for debate as to whether the appendages are actually skeletal or if they were more like feathers or scales. As we're stuck hypothesizing based off of incomplete fossils and a low-quality skeleton, only Longisquama's Triassic brethren know the truth, and they're unlikely to let us know anything anytime soon, as they've been extinct for an estimated 225 million years. Number 8. Chalocotherium Should we ever mate a gorilla with a horse and sloth, chances are we might get something that looks a bit like the Chalocotherium. Though this prehistoric mammal may look intimidating, coming in at a bulky and muscular 2.6 meters or 8 feet tall, Chalicotherium is a part of a genus of herbivores Ottos ungulates in the Chalicotheriidae family. The Chalicotherium sported two large forearms, used primarily to grab and pull on higher branches. The disproportionate size from front to back suggested that the Chalicotherium would walk on its knuckles and sit back on its much smaller hind legs to feed. The name Chalicotherium translates to pebble beast and refers to teeth found in 1833 which were said to be pebble-like in nature. The eight-foot-tall herbivore lived from the late Oligocene to the lower Pliocene period before vanishing from existence. Number seven, Jackaloptaris. We know that nature's most terrifying creations hide within the deep blue sea, and things weren't too much different 390 million years ago. In 2007, a 46 centimeter or 18 inch long claw was unearthed near Prum, Germany by Simon Brady. The claw belonged to a Jackaloptaris, a species of sea scorpion, an extinct arthropod that disappeared during the Permian to Triassic extinction event. The Jackaloptaris is the largest known sea scorpion, with measurements reaching up to a whopping two and a half meters or eight feet long. Contrary to what the name would have you think, the oversized underwater scorpion was thought to dwell deep within rivers and lakes rather than the deep blue sea. Number 6. Therizinosaurus During the Christically used to pull branches down, the sharp claws made for a great defense against gutsy predators. Sizing of the Therizinosaurus has been determined to be up to 10 meters or 33 feet in length based on several incomplete skeletons. It's believed the claws of this large creature could reach up to 1 meter or 3.28 feet in length. It's probably a good thing this creature died out some 70 million years ago. Number 5. Ceratogallus Gophers aren't really something new and unusual that we deal with, but imagine if the common gopher was given small horns atop its head. The stubby skeletal protrusion served no real known purpose, though it's likely that they had something to do with defense. The horns are placed in such a way and are thick enough to indicate that they were present to protect the Ceratogallus' vulnerable spots, such as its head and neck. It's questionable how effective they really were in a defensive position, as this tiny rodent died out sometime after the Pleistocene era. This creature is also the smallest known mammal to have had horns. Number 4. Quagga It's not hard to look at this extinct subspecies of the common zebra, 
and not imagine it being a small horse with a zebra mask on. These strange equity once roamed the lands of South Africa before the Dutch settled the lands. As the 2.5 meter or 8.5 feet long mammal foraged the same plant life as domesticated animals and provided an abundance of meat and useful skin, the settlers were quick to hunt the helpless beast. In 1883, the last of the quagga died in captivity, despite continuous breeding efforts that were unsuccessful. In 1987, a selective breeding program began to try and revive the quagga, and though zebras were bred with the look of the extinct animal, the genetic makeup is completely different. Number three, Helicoprian. If the jigsaw killer were to begin breeding sharks, the serial killer would likely breed something along the lines of the Helicoprian. This terrifying looking fish is actually not a shark, belonging instead to an order of cartilaginous fish, the Eugeniodontida. Like its underwater ancestor, this 290 million year old fish has an unsettling arrangement of teeth. Initial reconstructions believed that the fish's lower jaw extends below its body and is long enough to curl into a whip-like spiral. A partial jaw reconstruction done in 2013 after the discovery of crushed cartilage led to the modern belief that the tooth whirl sits in a shorter lower jaw rather than as a toothed whip. This also negates early thought that the whirl could have been found on the snout, dorsal fin, or tail of the helicoprian. Number two, Opabenia. Some extinct animals and creatures are what nightmares are made of. Such is the case with this five-eyed stem arthropod. The Opabenia may have been known for its abundance of eyes, but these are far from the only unusual features on this sea creature. A rear-facing mouth located on the underside of the Opabenia was fed by a 2.54 centimeter or one inch proboscis that was likely used to scavenge food from the seabed. The alien-like Opabenia grew to about 10 centimeters or 3.9 inches, its size supporting the fact that it was highly unlikely to be a predator to any other sea animal. By the end of the Cambrian period, the Opabenia had disappeared entirely. Number one, Hallucigenia. The name is not entirely too far off from what you may feel you're doing should you ever come across a long lost relative of this extinct animal. The Hallucigenia may initially look threatening with its series of what looks like spikes on its back, but these jutting features are thought to be ornamental or protective scales. But that's not even the worst part. Looking at this creature, it's quite difficult to determine which is the head and which is the rear, as there barely seems to be any coherent structural makeup to it. The abundance of appendages, like its 16 legs and multiple scales, help to make this one of the most unusual creatures in this world. Have you ever heard of any of these strange creatures on our list? Do you know of any other bizarre creatures that could have made our list? Let us know in the comment section below. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and our website, top10archive.net. Have an idea for a future Top 10 video? Let us know in the comment section below, or send us a video of your suggestion.